Say we're on ChatGPT and we're going to ask a very important question. Do the potential benefits of AI outweigh the ethical risks of mass unemployment and surveillance? And this is a question that ChatGPT says, yes, if we handle it correctly and you can see its response. And if we scroll down at the end of its response, you're going to see that we are having a linear conversation with ChatGPT about this topic, which brings me to today's AI tool called Ponder, which is for how minds actually think. We are going to escape from this linear approach that we've come accustomed to in large language models. So what is the actual problem to this linear approach? Well, you're going to talk to the AI model and you're going to talk to it back and forth. So so you ask it a question and it's going to give you an answer. You might come up with two other additional questions you want to ask. But when you go to ask the first question, you're going to go on a tangent there and you have to scroll all the way back up to get the answer for the second question. So instead of doing that, you're more than likely going to prompt it with a new question. And what ends up happening is you're going to be asking the model very similar questions over and over again. And then you factor in the whole recency bias that models have, large language models tend to be more biased to the most recent messages that were asked. Things you talk to it in the beginning of your chat are often forgotten or not as valued comparison to the most recent messages you send. You're locked into a single idea. There's no like A-B testing. There's no like thoughts. It's just one single thread of your thoughts going forward. And that's not how humans think. We often don't think in a linear approach. We think in like a tree approach where we come up with side tangents. And even as recording this, I have tons of them that I end up cropping out. And those are just some of the problems with the linear approach, but we can do better. So say we are on Ponder, we're going to ask the same exact question and we can hit go. So we can actually see here, this is our question that we started with and it is still going, but I would just want to take you through so we can see these sources and anywhere in here, we can just add a like card, a branch. We can ask an additional question at any point because this is like a full mind map and this is the response that we got back. So we can actually see the benefits here and now we can kind of go through all the different benefits. So the use case for AI, and if we click here, now we can actually see all the different positive use cases. So we aren't getting just like a big long response back. We're actually breaking it up into parts that we can actually understand. If you look at the website, Ponder advertises itself as a tool for someone that needs deep structured thinking, not just fast information, which makes a lot of sense based off how it breaks it down. So I'm going to just zoom out for a second and you can see the mind map that we have just off a single question, but let's zoom back in for a second and we can say, okay, let's see, we have proactive social planning. So society must plan not just for jobs AI will create, but for the dreams and identities it might erase. And we can see here, we have a bunch of different options. So we can add a sibling card or a child card. There's all sorts of stuff. We can even ask AI and we can say, Hey, can you explain this a little bit more or give an example? Can we simplify it? Even have these wonder cards with different examples of things that you can like dive into a little bit further. So we pick this one here and you're going to see here it's figuring out like what psychological and social dimensions of technology displacement required proactive social planning. So it's ask a good question that you might think of, or you can even ask your own, and then it's going to expand. I'm, again, I'm just going to zoom out. We can expand our mind map again, just further out. And we're kind of diving into a topic deeper as we go. Okay, so this is really cool. We can also click share here and we can make it shareable. We can share it out with other people. We can export it and we can export it as a mind map or even as a report. We can export it as markdown or as a PDF. So if you want to make a report, you want to be able to print this out, whatever you want to do with it, you can just export, boom, it is preparing as a PDF. And now I have it that you can see it here, what it looks like as a PDF format, all of our research and information broken down with nice subheadings. So I want to come back here and I want to show you something else you can do. We are going to click home this time around. And this time around, we are actually going to start with a file that we are going to upload. So we can actually like upload a file. We can click web. We can add a video. We can do a lot of different things. So for this time around, I'm going to hit web and I'm going to come here to this website here. They have a lot of different research articles. I love reading research articles about AI. There are so many just on a daily basis. There was actually one I want to read today. We're going to start with that one. It's the ethics of generative AI. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. You can see as I already downloaded the PDF, I was going to read it. Let's copy the URL and we're going to come back 
and let's paste in our URL here. We're going to hit add and it is now uploaded and it is uploading. It's analyzing. I'm just going to move myself out of the way for a second. You can see it in the bottom right and it is now at 9%. Alternatively, I could have just uploaded the PDF myself, but you can see here PDF uploaded and we can see it's going to give us questions. And if you use Notebook LM, it's pretty similar where it's like, hey, what are key ethics? We can click it and we can just ask the AI a question based off our PDF. And you can see the difference though, is we are going to build a mind map based on the PDF where Notebook LM, you're kind of stuck with the mind map that it's given you. So just like one click, we have our PDF here. It's gone through the whole PDF. We can add additional files if you saw it on the left side, but now we have like generative AI ethics and we are now building a mind map off of the PDF. But again, just kind of similar to before, we can just kind of say, hey, let's ask AI and can you like, give us an example of this. And it's able to go through and give us examples of privacy issues now. So it's a phenomenal tool. Ponder is a really cool tool for research. If you wanna dive into a topic rather than just like the traditional linear response that you're gonna get from any AI model, this is really cool because now you can see, look, I have like a bunch of different examples now based off just my PDF that I've uploaded. So say we are here and we want to go a little bit further. There's something called AI agent in the top right. And again, I am in the way, so let's just move myself over. And now we can ask any question we want. So let's say we had a prompt that said, hey, can you provide a summary and highlight the important parts in yellow? We are going to use the actual agent of ponder to do exactly this task so and now it has a plan so it's actually going through and i can like zoom in i can scroll up and down you can see it is actually highlighting the important parts in yellow so it's saying okay these cards here are the ones you should be looking at don't worry about the rest and you can see here we can accept and we can say okay good job thank you these are now yellow because they are the most important parts of our entire workflow. So you can really upload anything from YouTube links to PDFs to just websites, long text, and then Ponder will turn all this data into a connected mind map that makes a lot more logical sense, which will help you see relationships, patterns between different things. You can go beyond just like question answer, that linear approach I was talking about in the beginning of the video, because Ponder will like remember context, it's gonna break things down. It's kind of cool. So you have some options as well. So you can add a child card, which is going to add a card here, which you can add your own text to. You can also highlight over and you can add a sibling card, which is going to be on the same level. And then again, we can just ask AI and we can just ask something else. And again, it gives you like some suggestions or you can add in your own question. And again, AI is going to build a mind map for you. So you can see just from the PDF that we have uploaded, we started building out a mind map, like a more logical flow of how we would think versus like your traditional large language model that's just gonna go in a linear approach. You can conduct larger reviews, search academic paper, you can cross-reference findings, and it's all like grounded in verifiable sources, which is really cool. Andre Kirpathy has a bunch of videos that do deep dives into AI, and we are going to take these video links and we're gonna bring them into our ponder here. So I literally just took the links here, copied them over, put them here, we're gonna hit add, and now we have all of these videos that are uploading to our ponder. We can see here, just like before, we have some like questions we can ask. We can also click mind map and you can see our mind map is being made based off of our videos and you can see it break down every single thing that Andre Kapathy did in these long videos that are like two hours, three hours long, all in a nice, easy to follow mind map. And every idea, everything you do is traceable. And by that, I mean this. Say where you're on the card, we can actually hit trace back to origin and it's going to load from the original PDF and it's gonna load from where it came from. So it's like here on this part of the PDF because it brought us there. Kind of obvious if you're a student or someone doing research, it's a really powerful tool. But even if you aren't, like I'm just thinking about myself, I love writing down tons of notes. I have tons of documents just from like a content creation perspective. I have tons of documents for different programs and things I wanna code. And this will break down my logical thought into like mind maps and then it can add follow-ups and 
I'm basically using AI in a really smart, productive way to kind of bring all my thoughts together. And, and because of that, I truly think Ponder might be like my go-to replacement for notes because it just makes a lot of sense. So if you want a really cool tool for like note taking and just taking your like logical thoughts and putting them down and then being able to like sort through them all, it's a really, really cool tool. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I just love trying out new AI tools. I thought this one was cool. Let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget to subscribe to cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, it tells algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content and I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.